Country music star Randy Travis nearly died after he had a stroke. Today we're taking a moment to remember those we've lost. People who touched our lives in ways we'll always cherish. But today, we have list of iconic stars who have left us. Legends somehow contributed their work ended up passing away. Let's come together to honor their memory. So in their honor, we're asking you to join us to like and subscribe this channel as a tribute to those we've lost. Let's keep their spirit alive by spreading kindness and joy. Selva Alleman, born on April 30, 1944, in Buenos Aires, Argentina, is a renowned Argentine actress with a career spanning over five decades. She is widely recognized for her work in television, film, and theater. Alleman began her acting career in the 1960s and quickly became a prominent figure in Argentine entertainment. She gained fame through her performances in popular Argentine TV shows, such as Alta Comedia, Cosa Yuzgada, and Mujeres Asesinas. Alleman is admired for her versatility, portraying a wide range of characters in dramas, comedies, and telenovelas. She has also had notable roles in films like Las Furias and La Fiaca, as well as on stage in critically acclaimed theater productions. In addition to her successful acting career, Alemán has been recognized with numerous awards, including the prestigious Martín Fierro Awards for her contributions to Argentine television. She is celebrated as one of the most respected and enduring actresses in Argentina's entertainment industry. Laurent Tirard, born on February 18, 1967, in France, is a French film director and screenwriter known for his work in both comedies and adaptations of literary classics. After studying filmmaking in New York and working as a journalist for Studio Magazine, Tirard transitioned into screenwriting and directing. He gained widespread recognition with his 2006 film, Molière, fictionalized story about the life of the famous French playwright, Tirard further solidified his reputation with successful comedies like Le Petit Nicolas, 2009, based on the popular French children's book series, and its sequel, Le Vacances du Petit Nicolas, 2014. He also directed Asterix and Obelix, God Save Britannia, 2012, part of the beloved Asterix film series. Known for his ability to blend humor with heartfelt storytelling, Tirard has become a well-respected figure in French cinema. His films often appeal to both family audiences and fans of literary adaptations. You gotta taste this shit. This shit is so good, bro. Homie Rich. Rich Homie Kwan, born D. Quance Lamar on October 4, 1989, in Atlanta, Georgia, is an American rapper and songwriter. He gained widespread recognition in the early 2010s with his unique blend of melodic rap and introspective lyrics. Kwan first rose to fame with his hit single, Type of Way. In 2013, it became a summer anthem and established him as a rising star in the hip-hop scene. In 2014, he collaborated with rapper Young Thug and producer Birdman as part of the group Rich Gang, releasing popular tracks like Lifestyle, which further boosted his career. Kwan's music often touches on themes of struggle, success, and personal growth. Resonating with a wide audience, he released several successful mixtapes, including Still Going In and I Promise I Will Never Stop Going In, which helped solidify his place in the rap industry. Despite facing legal and label issues, Juan continued to release new music, and in 2018, he dropped his debut studio album, Rich As In Spirit. Known for his distinct sound and catchy hooks, Rich Homie Juan remains a notable figure in modern hip-hop students through the boredom threshold. I think it's quite interesting to be bored. Derek Boshier, born on August 29, 1937, in Portsmouth, England, is a British artist known for his contributions to the pop art movement. He studied at the Royal College of Art in London during the 1960s alongside notable artists like David Hockney and Peter Blake. Boshier gained recognition for his bold graphic style that reflected the influence of mass media, advertising, and popular culture. His early work, characterized by vibrant colors and striking imagery, became iconic during the pop art era. Boshier explored various mediums throughout his career, including painting, drawing, photography, and even video and film. He collaborated with musicians, most notably designing album covers and artwork for David Bowie. Beyond his involvement in pop art, 
Bouchier's work often addresses political and social themes, blending contemporary issues with artistic experimentation. He has exhibited internationally and remains an influential figure in both British and global art scenes. His career has spanned over six decades, marked by constant innovation and a wide-ranging creative output. Manuel Anton, born on February 27, 1926, in Las Palmas, Chaco, Argentina, is an Argentine film director, screenwriter, and cultural figure. He emerged as a prominent filmmaker in the 1960s, becoming known for his contributions to Argentine cinema. Anton directed several critically acclaimed films, many of which were adaptations of literary works by notable Argentine writers, including La Cifra Impar, 1962, and Circe, 1964, both based on stories by Julio Cortazar. Antin's films are often characterized by their introspective, poetic style, blending realism with symbolic element. His work played a significant role in shaping Argentine cinema during a period of artistic growth and innovation. In addition to his filmmaking career, Antin made significant contributions to Argentine culture as an administrator. From 1983 to 1996, he served as the director of the Universidad del Cine, FUC, helping to foster a new generation of filmmakers in Argentina. He remains an influential figure in the country's cinematic history. Jean-Charles Tachella is a well-known French filmmaker, screenwriter, and critic, recognized for his impact on French cinema in the second half of the 20th century. Born on September 23, 1925, in Cherbourg, France, he developed a love for film early on. Starting his career as a film critic before moving into filmmaking, Tachella gained international fame with his 1975 romantic comedy, Cousin, Cousine, which focuses on love and relationships within a big family. The movie was a hit, both critically and commercially, earning nominations for major awards, including the Academy Awards for Best Foreign Language Film and Best Original Screenplay. Cousin Cousine is considered a classic of French cinema, known for its clever dialogue and heartfelt exploration of human emotions. Throughout his career, Tachella continued to create films that focused on personal relationships, social interactions, and the complexities of love and friendship, often blending humor and warmth with a deep understanding of human behavior. Coming here to Italy was unbelievably important. Richard MacPhail is a British figure known for his important role in the early years of the rock band Genesis in the late 1960s and early 1970s. He was a schoolmate of Genesis members Peter Gabriel, Tony Banks, Mike Rutherford, and Anthony Phillips at Charterhouse School. Although not a musician, MacPhail became their road manager helping organize their early tours, managing their equipment, and generally taking care of the band. His work was key in helping Genesis grow from a school band into a professional group. MacPhail's relationship with the band was also personal, as he offered support and encouragement during tough times. After leaving the band's road crew in 1973, he remained a close friend to the members. He later took on other roles, such as sound engineering and production. In 2000, MacPhail co-authored a memoir titled My Book of Genesis, sharing his insider's view of the band's early days. While his work was often behind the scenes, his contributions were essential to the band's early success and growth. Johnny Gaudreau, also known as Johnny Hockey, is an American ice hockey player famous for his impressive skills, speed, and playmaking. Born on August 13, 1993 in Salem, New Jersey, Gaudreau became a standout winger in the National Hockey League, NHL. He played college hockey at Boston College, where he quickly emerged as one of the best players in the country. In 2014, he won the Hobie Baker Award, given to the top player in NCAA men's ice hockey. Soon after, he joined the Calgary Flames, who had selected him in the fourth round of the 2011 NHL Draft, with the Flames, Gaudreau became one of the league's most exciting forwards, earning multiple all-star appearances and consistently ranking as one of the team's top scorers. Known for his ability to maneuver in tight spaces and create scoring chances, quickly became a fan favorite. In 2022, Gaudreau made headlines by signing with the Columbus Blue Jackets as a free agent, marking a major change in his career.
His talent and creativity have made him one of the most admired and skilled players in the NHL. Betty A. Bridges, a veteran guest actress known for her roles in shows like Good Times, Scrubs, and Hill Street Blues, passed away at the age of 83. She was also the mother of Different Strokes star Todd Bridges. Early in her career, she had a memorable role in the Good Times episode The Nude in 1975, acting alongside Carl Weathers. Over her 40-year career, she worked with stars like George Clooney, Lee Grant, and Red Fox in popular shows such as Dallas, The Bad News Bears, and Different Strokes, where she appeared with her son Todd. Later in life, Bridges founded the acting school Kane Bridge Academy, where she coached future stars like Nia Long, Regina King, and Sanaa Lathan. Javier Gomez Navarro is a Spanish businessman and politician, known for his significant influence in both government and business. Born on March 13, 1945, in Madrid, Spain, he became an important figure in the 1990s while serving as Spain's Minister of Trade and Tourism from 1993 to 1996 under Prime Minister Felipe González. During his time in office, he played a key role in boosting Spain as a global tourist destination and updating trade policies, which helped drive the country's economic growth. After leaving government, Gomez Navarro moved into the private sector, where he held leadership roles, including serving as president of the Spanish Chamber of Commerce from 2005 to 2014. In this position, he worked to support Spanish businesses and encourage entrepreneurship Throughout his career, Gomez Navarro has been recognized for his efforts to improve Spain's economy, particularly in tourism and trade, and for successfully transitioning between public service and business. His contributions have left a lasting impact on the country's development. Some autistic people may not be able to speak and uh, require daily... Steve Silberman is an American writer and journalist, best known for his work on autism and neurodiversity. Born in 1957, Silberman became well-known as a journalist, writing for publications like Wired magazine, where he covered topics related to science, culture, and technology. His most famous work is his 2015 book, Neurotribes, The Legacy of Autism and the Future of Neurodiversity. The book looks at the history of autism, the growth of the neurodiversity movement, and the challenges faced by autistic people. Neurotribes received widespread praise, winning the Samuel Johnson Prize for Nonfiction and becoming a New York Times bestseller. It is credited with changing how people view autism and pushing for a more inclusive and accepting society. Silberman's work has had a major impact on how autism is understood, helping raise awareness and promoting acceptance of neurodiversity. Que falleció. Se acaba de anunciar a través de las redes sociales. Alano V, born Raimundo Diaz Mendoza Jr. on March 22, 1962, is a retired Mexican wrestler and a major figure in Lucha Libre, Mexico's unique style of wrestling. He comes from the well-known Mendoza wrestling family, which has a strong legacy in the sport. The Villano name, meaning villain in Spanish, was used by him and his brothers, all masked wrestlers, creating a famous family dynasty in Lucha Libre. Villano Fee started wrestling in 1976 and became recognized for his technical skills, high-flying moves, and his signature colorful mask, an important tradition in Lucha Libre. He wrestled for top Mexican wrestling promotions, like AAA and CMLL, as well as international ones. Key part of his career involved intense rivalries with other wrestling legends, often leading to dramatic mask versus mask matches, a popular aspect of Lucha Libre. One of the most memorable moments of his career was when he lost his mask in 2009 during a match against Blue Panther, an emotional and defining event. Viano V retired in 2015, but is still respected for his contributions to wrestling and for continuing the Villano family's legacy. It was very, very conservative. Most of the people... Casey Potter is a well-known American educator and champion of LGBTQ plus rights especially for his work at Vanderbilt University. Born in 1939, he served as Dean of Residential and Judicial Affairs at Vanderbilt from 1981 to 1998. During a time when advocating for LGBTQ plus rights was uncommon, Potter became a key figure in supporting and protecting LGBTQ plus students, 
One of his most important achievements was creating a safe space for LGBTQ plus students at the university. He even opened his home to them, providing a place of refuge and support. This effort eventually led to the creation of the K.C. Potter Center on campus, which houses the Office of LGBTQI Life and remains an important resource for the LGBTQ plus community at Vanderbilt. Throughout his career, Potter was a compassionate advocate, fighting discrimination and promoting inclusion. His work has had a lasting impact at Vanderbilt and beyond, helping to create a more accepting environment for LGBTQ plus people in education. Irina Glibko is a Ukrainian model entrepreneur, and social media influencer, recognized for her contributions to the fashion and beauty industries. With a strong presence on Instagram, she has gained a large following by sharing stylish outfits, beauty tips, and lifestyle content. Glibco has partnered with several fashion brands, using her influence to showcase products and promote trends. Beyond modeling, she has ventured into business, working on fashion and beauty-related projects. Her mix of modern style and business savvy has made her a standout in the Ukrainian fashion world. Glibko continues to inspire her audience with creative content and entrepreneurial drive, cementing her position as a leading influencer in fashion and beauty. Randy Travis is an American country music singer, songwriter, and actor, born on May 4, 1959. He became a major figure in country music during the 1980s and 1990s, known for his deep voice and traditional country sound. His breakthrough album, Storms of Life, 1986, produced hits like On the Other Hand and Diggin' Up Bones, making him a key figure in revitalizing traditional country music. Over his career, Travis has won numerous awards, including multiple Grammy Awards, and has released over 20 albums, with hits like Forever and Ever, Amen. In 2013, Travis suffered a massive stroke after being hospitalized for viral cardiomyopathy, a heart condition. The stroke severely affected his ability to speak and walk, and he spent years in recovery. While his health has improved over time, he has not fully regained his singing voice. Travis remains active in the music community, and his recovery has been an inspiring story for fans. Despite his health struggles, he continues to make public appearances, and in 2016, he was inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame. Thank you for joining us on episode of Fame Story TV, where we remember and pay tribute to the lives and stories of remarkable people who have left us today. If this video touched your heart, please consider honoring their memory by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. See you in the next episode.